Hello and welcome to PSD Touch Plus. Today I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop and Lightroom together to add frames to your photographs in your Lightroom catalog. So we start with this photo here and I'm going to show you four different ways to add frames. How to use images, brushes, layer styles and use the canvas size to create a frame effect and then come back here to Lightroom uh, to see and compare the original and the frame version of your photograph. So let me show you how I do this. First of all I'm going to the photo menu, choose edit in and choose edit in Photoshop. So that will open up the image in Photoshop and once we save it inside Photoshop, it will come back straight to Lightroom. So we already have the photo here. And as I said, I'm going to show you different ways of creating frames. But let me start with probably the easiest one, using another image. I have that image on my desktop, so let me just quickly open it. I go to File, Open, and this is the image that I need. And I would like to put this on top of the other uh, document. So I'm going to Window, Arrange, Tile, Up to Up Vertical. And then I use the Move tool and drag and drop it onto this image. I'm going to click on Yes. And then I can close this one here on the left. And I'm just going to use the Free Transform tool now and stretch this frame to the size of my other photo. Now that it's fitted to the canvas size, I can use a blend mode to blend these two layers together. And most of the times if you have a black detail on your frame image layer, then you should use multiply. If it's the opposite, then you should use screen. So I can show you how it would look like if it's the opposite. I'm going to switch back to the normal blend mode and press Command or Control i to invert the mask. Now everything we had, uh, the grungy effect on the edges, now turned to white and uh, everything else is black. And we don't need that black, we only want to have that white uh, grungy effect. So for this we should use screen blend mode. Okay, so whenever you want to show uh, white details, you should use screen and uh, when you want to use black details, then you should use multiply. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to invert it back with the same keyboard shortcut, Command or Control I, and then I will switch to multiply. And by the way, if you want to switch to multiply blend mode with a keyboard shortcut, you can use Alt Shift M. That's a fast way also to switch to multiply. Alt Shift N would switch back to normal. So normal and multiply. It's quite easy to use this keyboard shortcut to switch between them. So now that we have this frame ready, we can just simply go to File, Save, and this will go back to Lightroom, the saved version of this photo, and we can already see the frame version. If I want to compare the two together, I can press Tab to get rid of the panels on the right and the left, and I can select these two together. So let me just select them together and choose the Compare uh, View option. So Compare View, I click on that, let me just press uh, tab again just to get rid of the panels on the left and the right. And now we can see the frame version on the right and the original version on the left. If I go back to Photoshop I can show you more options. So this one was the image, I'm going to call this layer image. And you can find similar images uh, on uh, websites like DeviantArt or BrushEasy all these free websites you can find a lot of textures and brushes and even images that you can use the same way I use this one on this image uh, and I show you another uh, version which in this case I'm, I'm not going to use an image I'm going to use a brush so I select the brush tool and again this is something I downloaded from the internet for free I'm going to select this brush and as you can see I can increase its size and once I click with it, it creates the frame. Um, so it's very similar to using an image, but this already has a transparency. That's the advantage of brushes, so you don't really need to use um, blend modes with them. But once again, if I want to match it to the size of the image, I can use the free transform tool 
and then I can create this uh, again frame the fact grungy uh, Polaroid frame effect so I'm going to call this layer brush it's a very similar technique that's why I don't want to spend too much time on it and now I would like to show you how to use a layer style now of course if your uh, photo is on a background layer then you first need to double click on it to turn it into a normal layer and then you can double click again to access the layer styles now here what is easiest to use for um, border or frame around your image is the stroke uh, from the styles so I'm going to select it and uh, the most important thing here is to select inside or center I prefer to work with inside um, for the position of the stroke and then as you can see there is already a frame around this image we can change the frames color we can also change uh, it to a gradient so you can have gradients on your strokes and you can even have patterns which is also an interesting option it's good to know that you have all these options so you don't have to always just stick to a boring color <laughs> you can always use patterns or gradients and if you want you can also change the blend mode and the opacity and the size of the stroke so it's quite simple and it's good to know that you can always uh, make a setting default so if you want to use it a lot you can set it to default or you can save it as a style and then you will be able to use it again from the styles options here these are like the presets that you can save in Photoshop so that's another option let me just set this back to white and I'm going to click on OK and the good thing about using a layer style for framing is that you can always turn it on and off easily and you can double click on it to make changes to it so it's completely non-destructive and last but not least let me just turn off these effects I'm going to show you how to use the canvas size option to change uh, or to add the frame to your image I'm going to choose image canvas size and I choose relative which helps me to add exactly how much I want uh, the width and the height of my frame because if I type in here 100 pixels by 100 pixels that will mean it will add 50 pixels on each of the edges of my image so if I click on OK and you can see there's an extra 50 pixels all around the photo and the only thing I need to do now is to create a new layer put this below the original photo layer and fill it in with black or white or whatever color I decide to use or I can even use another image there behind the original photo and that will look like a frame um, Alt Backspace and Command Backspace is a fast way to use your foreground and background colors so just to remind you if you save in Photoshop whenever you open an image from Lightroom it always goes back to your catalog so here it will update because we just updated this one on the right and as you can see now it's not the grungy effect anymore it's that nice uh, white outline so that's all what you need to know about adding frames to your photos using Lightroom and Photoshop together you can decide whichever method suits you the best and uh, you can always combine these techniques together as well. Thanks a lot for your attention and I hope you will join me next time as well.